Well, hello, and welcome to Quick Cut. Uh, we have a coffee maker, and boy, I hope you love coffee because this will make the coffee. That's a Grindmaster ICB 400. Uh, it's an automatic coffee brewer. You fill it with uh, coffee grounds in here, obviously. The pot down here, and push the button. That's all there is to it. Uh, there's a few things that you need to know to make it work. Let me grab the camera. It has a portion size control right here. You can make, see, you can see that that's the pot and makes a smaller pot a little more and fills the pot up. Uh, the way you adjust that, now this comes set from the factory. It has a setting here of 120, 165, and 230. I don't know if you can read that or not on the camera. But if you want to increase or decrease your portion size, so if you want the smaller portion to be more or less, it's very easy to do. There's two settings here, one for right side, one for left side. Normally there's a panel that covers this. Uh, there's a big panel that covers this whole thing, and then there's a small panel that just covers this. But I've got all that off so you can see inside and see that we're not hiding everything. Everything's here. Everything's working. Uh, to adjust the side, well, we're gonna, we want to make the right side, which is this one, uh, the middle portion, say, a little bit less. Very easy to do. Click the switch over to right side. Push the select button. 165, that's the middle one. You see you got 220. 120 is the first one. First light's lit up right there. 165 is the second one, and 220 is the third one. If we want to increase the second one, well, we just push up, and that's how many seconds it's going to run. The longer that it runs, the more water that it's going to put in. Very easy to do. Now, something you probably won't need to do, because they are set from the factory, but they do give you that option, so it's great to have options, right? Uh, if you want, like I say, if you want more or less portion size. Uh, temperature adjustment right here. We're set, uh, uh, see here's the lowest and then here's the highest and we're set about right there. And believe me, it's very hot. I stuck my finger under it. Not advisable. But let me show you how well it works. This thing, these clean up real easy. You pop this cover off. There's a tube here that shows the level of the coffee in it. You can pop that off, pull this off and clean the tubes out. And it's a whole lot easier to do with two hands than with one hand, but snap that back in place. The lids come off real easy, clean on the inside. Now it does have two pots. So let me put the other one up here. It has a safety switch right here. Now this is going to mostly be covered by that panel. There's going to be a little hole there so that it doesn't, so nobody can start it without the pot in place. Very good idea. You see the pot hits the safety switch. That way you don't have to worry about coffee pouring out all over the ground. Now I'm not going to put the cover on this one. This one has a cover. Here it is right here. Nice shape. Really nice. But I'm going to leave it off so that when I make the video we can see what's going on inside of there. I'll put this beauty cover back on here to cover the indicator. Now I did start this. Uh, a while ago, I filled it up. I ran it a couple times to make sure everything's okay so I could check amperage and all that while I was, uh, you know, while I wasn't holding the camera to make sure everything's perfect on it. Uh, when you first fill this, now, it has a safety feature on it so that if, uh, say, at night the line would break or, or something would happen and it would start to overflow, it's only going to run for five minutes and shut down. And that's what it's supposed to do. So on the original fill, you have to plug it in, take this whole panel off, and it'll fill most of the way up. Now, it doesn't always do this, but uh, some models do this, some don't. This one did for me. Uh, it's all in the book. It explains it. I got the book. Let me show you the book. Nice manual here. And I would find the page that it explains all this on, but you probably wouldn't be able to read it with the camera. But it's all written down, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it'll say, like, error one, because it's not full. It's normal. It's not really an error. All you have to do is push and hold the select button for 10 seconds. Then it will fill completely up, and then you're ready to go. As long as you leave it full, you don't have to do that again. You'll probably have to do that every time that you empty it. If you empty it to uh, move it or something like that, you would have to reset that 
But uh, normal operation, once you do that, your initial setup, you're fine. You don't have to do it again. Okay, so here we go. We want uh, portion size. We're going to do the right side, which is this one. We're going to select the medium portion size. And it's going to start to run. And there we go. Now, obviously, I don't have any coffee in it, so it's just going to be clear water. You can see the steam, so you know it's hot. You can hear the valve kick in. It's refilling itself. I'm going to do the left size. I'm going to do a smaller portion on that one. Oh, you know what? I didn't do. It's probably something that you should always do. And that's put the, uh, the part in there that catches the coffee. See, this is what happens if you make a mistake. You make a mess. But let me get this. Sorry about the camera. I know it's a weird view, but there we go. Okay, so that's lesson number one. Never do that. Never uh, start the coffee maker without the coffee ground to <laughs> or without the pot for the coffee. Ground. It tends to make a mess. Okay, so here we go. We're working great on this side. We see the steam coming out. We're working great on this side, except for the mess that I made. Remember that was my fault, not the coffee maker's. But we're running great. Now this may, the water may be coming in here faster than it's coming out of here. So it might shut down for a few seconds to let it catch up. That's perfectly normal. You can hear the water going into it. It's refilling itself. It's like I said, once you get it full, you don't have to worry about that uh, error message on the side. That's something that I don't want to scare you. It's just very well explained in the book how to take care of that and it's only a one-time thing as long as you leave it full. That has a place down here that says lift for hot water. If you need hot water for something else or you can just get hot water right out of here. Come straight out of there. See how, how much steam we got. If it's steaming you know it's hot. You can hear the valve kicking in. It's constantly refilling itself. You don't have to worry about pouring water in the top or anything like that. It does it itself. You know, we should be getting close here. You know, it's kind of hard to see down in there. Well, when it's done, I'll pull it away and you'll be able to see the water down in there. I mean, obviously, you know there's water in there, right? Where else would it be going? That would be some magic trick, though, wouldn't it, if I uh, filled this? And it was empty when we pulled it out. I could just go, ta-da! Now we're getting close on this one. It's just flashing. And there we go. The dipping has stopped. Now this one's not going to be quite as full as the portion size normally would be because the guy that uh, started this forgot to put the basket in and spilt water. So... We won't uh, mention any names. We're still going here, but that's normal because remember, we have the larger portion size here, so it's going to take longer to fill. That's the whole thing about the numbers. If we'd be counting here, we should have 165 seconds to fill this one. Now you have to adjust the amount. Uh, there she goes. She's stopping now. You have to adjust the amount of grounds that you put in for the amount of coffee that you want. There's a nice little chart in the book that tells you how many... Uh, and, you know, probably your best bet on that, though, is going to be talk to the people you get your coffee from. They're going to be able to tell you what you want to do there. Now, our light went out here. That's normal because we emptied this pot. I mean, I'm sorry, we filled this pot. We partially filled this pot, and now it's back on again. Uh, what that did was it put a lot of cold water in it, so it's going to take a couple seconds to heat back up. So you can see that that's working. Um, you don't want to start the brew until this is lit. It doesn't take long. If you make two pots, it's going to empty out most of the hot water, so you're going to have to let it, uh, let it warm back up. It doesn't take long, though. 
and there we go. That's how much hot water we have. Now, keep in mind, we haven't cleaned this yet. This is how it came in, so it's going to be cleaner when you get it. It's going to look nice. There's going to be some pictures on our website, which is www.quipcon, Q-U-I-P-C-O-N.com. And uh, those are going to be the pictures that we take after it's clean. So I want you to check those out. And uh, there's a link there to our eBay store, which would be the place to go to buy it. So I'll show you everything's here. It's a water valve, a little transformer that controls the uh, control board here. Gives voltage for that. Now this is the contactor that turns the element on and off. And uh, this is where the power supply comes in. All right, well, if you need this, you can give us a call if you have any questions about it. Phone number 636-583-8200. Sorry, this video ran a little bit long, but, uh, you know, it, well, I like to hear myself talk and the fact that it took that long to fill it. But uh, 